our experience with autism um, and how it's affected us um, which I'm just using the, the phrase affected us we'll have a whole other video about that I'm sure um, because how it affects us as parents is almost an irrelevance but what autism in your life means as a parent is probably indescribable but this this is my positive message this is the ideas that run around, run around in my head and have coalesced into like one big positive statement that if you're a autism parent or parent of autism should I say um, I hope you listen to and I hope you sort of grasp it because society as a whole is going to try and grind you down and that isn't fair so with no further ado what I'm going to do is make a video out of a Facebook statement which I've posted every year for the last two or three years at least um, I wrote it based on a film I saw and it, the whole thing sort of went from there because that one bit at the end it's one quote which I'm about to go into just sort of uh, pulled it all together in my head but yeah that's what I mean that's what I've been trying to think about so what if we're wrong what if we've been using the wrong test to quantify intelligence in our children with autism your son or daughter is not less than they're different now your expectations for your son or daughter may change over time they might include marriage children self-sufficiency and they might not but i guarantee you if we let the world set expectations for our children they'll start low and they will stay there now, that's just a movie quote it's from the film the accountant if you've got small children don't let them watch it it's a bit violent but it's no less valid and as a parent of autism i'm probably and i'm probably autistic myself I hear other children setting much lower expectations for autistic children. The children hear it and they believe it and they accept it. They become those lower expectations when they could have reached the stars. Now our children are educated at home because of such low expectations because of the lies and because of lack of care that they received in the education system. Now I'm not going to tar the whole education system with, like, with the same brush. But we had promises made, and we set expectations within that education environment, and we were terribly let down. We were lied about by the school. We were even referred to, referred to social services, which I find hard to believe. Uh, social services rang up, had a conversation with us, and de decided the school was just wasting their time. Now that education environment did what they did. Tried to punish us for having the temerity to call them out on their failures in a vain attempt to undermine us as responsible parents. Well, our children come in to appreciate art. Uh, they've looked at John Constable, Gauguin, and Van Gogh, Mondrian, Picasso. It goes on and on. Our children are interested in nature and particularly natural disasters. That might just be children, but a nine-year-old and seven-year-old and a six-year-old for it is his birthday today could explain to anyone um, 
the actual mechanics of earthquakes. They can explain the creation of cyclones, volcanoes, tsunamis. The older two read them of their reading level for their peer, for their age level. Electronics are not a mystery to them. Simple engines, everyday discussions, active, active construction is understood. The design of castles and fortifications in history. still with all those things that we've achieved and our children have achieved for themselves because they have the opportunity to learn and they have the opportunity to ask questions and look at whatever they want to look at because we will lead them still through all that our ability to educate will be brought into question not just by authority but for, by friends and family And it is upsetting. And it is soul destroying. And it is distracting. But we have confidence in them. And contrary to all these chips, all the people may make at our ability as parents, we actually have confidence in ourselves. We sit back, we realise what we're achieving, what our children are achieving, because we give them the opportunity, because we trust them and we set no limits on what they want to do. It'll all be brought into question. But we still will keep achieving, and so will they, because they're allowed to. They're also asleep at the moment, but I can guarantee, shortly after they wake up, they'll want to be learning this morning. They'll want to be picking those things, picking the computers up or asking questions or watching documentaries because they want to know. Because we and you can allow your children to achieve whatever they want. So if you are a parent of an autistic child or suspect autism in your child or even yourself, don't lose faith. Don't let anyone set expectations anywhere less than the skies. It might not be easy, it might seem impossible, but the happiness of living every day and not giving up should pay off. Please, contact me, or comment on this, because I think this is important. Your children's autism is about them and what they can achieve, given half a chance. Good luck. You won't need it. Just an open mind.